Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about the sensory systems that need to be addressed in an autistic child, a child having sensory challenges and specific emphasis on one particular area that is often missed out, interoception. We usually start with the five common sensory systems, particularly beginning with the visual system. So it is not just about looking at an environment and knowing what is there, but taking in the details as well, which include color of objects, shape of objects, form of objects, and whether they are in movement or not. The second common system that we address is the sound or the auditory system, where again, if we talk about speech, for example, four common areas are taken care of. Volume, tone, pitch and rhythm. Then moving on to the third area which is smell, the olfactory system, whether the child seeks smells or avoids smells. Similarly, we go with the gustatory or the taste system where the child will again seek them or avoid them. And the fifth system that we talk about is the tactile or the touch system. But touch also has six parts that need to be addressed which is touch, pressure, pain, temperature, texture, and vibration. Then we talk about the three hidden systems. The first one is proprioception. The pressure, the, how much aware the body is in the space surrounding. So are we aware of our body, how our joints are placed, how we are moving in the environment, and our position changes with respect to space. So many children try to look at mirrors for that or they seek pressure from their environment. The second hidden system becomes the vestibular system, which is not only movement as we commonly associate with, but also what posture we are holding, the speed of our movement, the direction of our movement, and if we are able to maintain our balance. And now we talk about the most important eighth system, the interoception or the awareness of internal body. What are the internal body needs? Basic needs of the child is what we address in this system. So if your child has needs like hunger, thirst, toileting need, any kind of pain, any kind of feeling of discomfort in the body, or if the child is not well rested, so sleep, all of these encompass or are associated with interoception. Just like the other sensory systems, interoceptive system can also have over-responsiveness or under-responsiveness. So with over, we find that the child has extreme emotions. The emotional regulation is not good or the child feels frequent pains. If the child has under-responsiveness to interoception, you might find the child is not complaining to you of any kind of pain or discomfort in the body and seeking medical help gets delayed. The child has got hurt. They are maybe bleeding also, but they are not informing you. Why am I emphasizing interoception so much is because they are the root of emotional regulation in a child and self-regulation. Self-regulation because the basic needs of the child will be met if this system is not challenged and same thing goes with the emotion control. Let us see how interoceptive challenges can actually affect your child's level of functioning. Physically, you'll find your child has delay in toilet training. They do not inform of hunger or thirst and you have to address them. They do not inform of any pain related or any discomfort in the body. They are fatigued, but they will still continue to move around or be active. Emotionally, this child will present with greater anxiety, more anger issues, irritability with even trivial things, extreme excitement and joy again over trivial things like you are simply saying going out, which the child does every day, but the extent of excitement is just too much. Today, I'm only going to address this short part of interoception just to make you understand how does this system really work, how important it is for your child. And most of the time, interoception becomes the primary reason why the other challenges of the child cannot be taken care of because the primary needs were not met.
We will continue this as part of a series of interoceptive awareness in autistic children. So please await part two, but also add any queries or suggestions or comments on what kind of interoceptive challenges are faced by your child. Also like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development and autism awareness. Ring the bell icon for notifications and we'll meet again soon. Bye.